Then finally, he had a special guest preacher come in, supposed to be a missionary because he goes to state fairs and wins people to Christ with a skull in a box. <laughs> <laughs> Demonstration. <laughs> yeah, this guy was all about tracks to get people saved. He said he would go around and put them in shirt pockets and boxes and stuff in stores and leave them with tips. And the waitress got saved by reading this. Come on, no, no get that trash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Roger Jimenez preached on the same track, but they didn't get it on tape, so I'd like to repeat to you a quote that was told to me from that sermon. Mr. Smiley's going to hell. That's right. I see why. You ever feel like nobody really cares? Are you a Christian? The Bible says, for all the sin to come short of the glory of God, Romans 3.23. Yeah. Have you ever lied or taken anything that belonged to someone else? And you have sin, haven't you? Yes, we all have. The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans okay. 6.23. That's right, sin separates from God. Okay. If we die in our sins, we are eternally lost and forever separated from God. Line nice. number one. Yep. Revelation 14.10. Yep. The saints shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Okay. There's no such thing as forever separated from God. That's right. right. But God offers another way. Since you now admit your sin, and Jesus is the only way, you can have eternal life free as a gift. <clears throat> this means you can't earn it by being good, or by going to church, or by baptism, or anything else. You simply receive it as a free gift through Jesus Christ, God's Son. Sounds good so far. Good for that one thing. The Bible says, But as many as received Him, to them gave you power to become the sons of God. Okay, where's the rest of the verse? Yeah, Let's look at the, John chapter 1, verse 12. John 1, 12. But as many as received him, to them gave you power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Amen. Right. Amen. It's Apparently, important. belief isn't that important. They left that out, yep. even though that's the whole deciding factor. Right. Yep. <laughs> you can receive Jesus right now if this prayer expresses the desire of your heart. Lord Jesus, believing I am lost and separated from you by my sins, and you, you are the only way to eternal life. That's not even a coherent sentence. What are you talking about? <laughs> I receive you as the Savior and Lord of my life. What's Lord. that? How are you going to make Jesus the Lord of your life? Wouldn't that involve repenting of your sins? Nope. Turning your life yep. around and yep. warrior your life? That's right. Jonah 3.10 And God saw their works that they turned from their evil way. Yep. So turning from your evil way, which you would have to do to make Jesus Lord of your life, is a work. That's right. Ephesians 2.8 says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and the right. of yourselves are the gift of God, not of works, Amen. lest any man should boast. One or two, work salvation. <laughs> Which choice did you make or received or rejected? For extra copies, write Sowers of Tares Incorporated, Fort Worth. Nice. Amen. <laughs> so, uh, eternal separation from God? No. Lord of your life to be saved? No. No mention of eternal security? No. Heresy. Right. Amen. 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 Not to mention the guy was trying to sell books in the back of the church building for them to do a house of merchandise. Yep, that's so, right. He was passing good. out fellowship track lead tracks that they had to turn from sin. And uh, pamphlets for a state fair ministry, the Amazing Grace Missions, I think it is. That was talking about total depravity, there's Calvinism creeping in. That's right, it's good. So, uh, what is this world coming to? You can't even get to a fundamental Bible believing Baptist church. Yep. To get the truth anymore. It's ridiculous. And there's the same kind of stuff all over Morgan now. Yep. People wonder why we get a church out of state. Yep. They're it's trying good. to sell things there too, but we're going to get all of them about that. So, <laughs> why do I go to the church I do? They preach out of the King James Bible only. Amen. They believe good. salvation is by faith alone. Amen. And they're Amen. secure. Amen. They're active in soul winning. Good. This is Amen. good, hard, relevant preaching. Amen. And they took every hymn to one change that line in victory in Jesus to good. God pledge me of my sins. He won the victory. Amen. Amen. That's a church. It's good. All right, let's pray. Thank you, God, that we have a real church to go to as they have enthusiasm for soul winning. Thank you all sold their one over the weekend. Please put it in people's hearts to not settle for whatever's close by. And that 
you for the great preaching we've had tonight. Thank you for being with me. Um, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, uh, Pope Benedict XVI, uh, I was reading, he was, uh, he was teaching some class at a university, and he quoted some, I forget what it was, but it was like something Muslims wouldn't appreciate as calling their religion evil and everything, and uh, here's a statement he made after he read that. I hope that the reader of my test can see immediately that this sentence does not express my personal view of the Quran for which I have the respect due to the holy book of a great religion. Do I need to say anything else here? <laughs> oh wow. my goodness! <laughs> Are you serious? He didn't really say it, did he? He's, he definitely said that. <laughs>